everyone welcome back to my channel um i wanted to pop on today to show you um some birthday goodies that i received from laura who is the one and only mr stationary and stuff here on youtube so i will link her channel down below um go and check her out she's cool uh yeah so i'm popping on to show you that um i've got another couple of videos i think going up today as well i can't really remember i'm in such a kerfuffle um i'm doing all of this now like really really rushed while i the children have gone to my mother-in-law's to stay um, for a couple of nights. So I'm like, woohoo, I've got to get loads of things done in the matter of like two days. So I've been, well, I've been cleaning. We dropped them off yesterday and then since I come back, I've been cleaning non-stop. Um, tidied up the playroom because I can only sort of tidy, I don't, everybody else probably feels the same way. But you know when you need to tidy up but you can't because the street kid's nagging you to death continuously. Um, and every time you clean something up, it just gets put back in a different place or doesn't get tidied up after themselves. So I warned them. I've said, look, I am tidying the house through. By the time you come back, when you come back, you put everything, and I mean everything, back in the right place. I, I might as well say these things, but they don't actually listen to me. They don't listen to anything that I actually say. But hey, I can try. Um, so yeah, so I hope you're all okay and, and survive in the school holidays. It's a beautiful day outside as well. And I have to put the light on because it's really dark in this craft room. But yes, I've tidied up my crafty corner. I've tidied up the playroom. I've just done the desk in the dining room. I've just hoovered throughout the dining room. I've worked on all the chairs, the table, everything like that, the windowsills, you know, all the stuff you do. Um, I've just gone into Lysia's room and uh, tidied up her desk. Oh my God. I, do you know what? I love throwing things in the bin. Do you know like just bits of paper that they've randomly drawn like circles on? Or I don't know... Um, just done a few sentences on and then chucked that to one side and then started on a new piece of paper while well, just throwing them all in the bin. So they're going to kill me when they come back, but they probably won't remember what they've done anyway. But I've already had two bags full of rubbish and that's just purely probably paper. Um, That's from the desk as well. So yeah, it, my ki I don't know if your kids are the same. They paint like a little bit and then they leave it and then they go on to another page and then they wonder then why they've got no paper left. And I'm like, well, you do use it up at the rate of knots. So yeah, so I've decided, because they're starting to get like a lot of art stuff, colouring things, painting things and stuff. So I've done some draws up with all of their stuff in. So it's separate to sort of my stuff. So yeah, so I'm all nice and tidy in here at the minute. So I thought I'd pop on and just do a couple of videos. So I'm going to stop you from lean, um, showing this white blank desk, which I've actually cleaned. I didn't realise how dirty it was, honestly. The cloth was disgusting. So I apologise for my nails. I was doing them with the kids the other day and now they're all chipped and I need to sort them out. But anyway, right, I just wanted to show you this. I bought myself this um, from work. £3, well, it goes. They got this one, which is like a brain training. So it's a mixture of puzzles. They've got Sudoku one which I'm going to get next. They've got word search. I'm not fussed on word searches. Um, the kids love them, but I'm not a big fan. And I think it's crosswords. Again, not a huge fan of crossword puzzles, but I picked this one up because it's got like a mixture of like arrow words and battleships and them ones are really, really cool. You have to like equals. Um, so you have to find a number that equals to 16 then you also have to find the number that equals to 12 there and 8 there. And you can't have the same number in the same row or column. So it's quite actually quite difficult. It's a lot like Sudoku, but a little bit more adding up sort of involved. Um, so yeah, so you know, like three there you've got to make, so two and a one. But you've got to be careful where you put your two and your one because you've obviously got to make six here and you've got to make sure that makes 14 so you can... Um, either put your two there and figure it out and then you have to usually pencil rub that out and put the one there because it just uh, but they are my favorite ones out of them actually at the minute I really really like that one and the Sudoku one so let me find you a Sudoku one uh, yeah they are solid so you know like Sudoku is usually um like a cross and a cross and you've got to get one two three four five seven nine nine one and down and it's usually in like squares this one is like that so you can't have them on the same row or the same column but it also you've got to get the rather than have them match in the squares like you used to have like nine block squares so it would be one two three four five six seven eight nine well these ones are in these shapes here can you see the bold outline there 
So you've got to make numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 in that one. But also making sure that you don't overlap on these ones and these ones. And like up here as well. It They are solid, honestly. They are really, 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 really hard. Um, and I really like Sudoku. But I, I am struggling to get through these ones, honestly. Right, anyway, I just want to stop, stop yakking on now. I just wanted to show you that. I got that because I got the kids' colouring books. I got I got my own colouring book. Um, and I got them some felts and things like that just to keep us entertained during the holidays. But it's when it's nice weather, it's nice because they can get to go outside. But anyway, I had this box of the lovely Laura. And it's got some fab things in it. So I just wanted to share that with you so then I could put it away. Um, because, like I say, I'm nice and tidy in you now and I want to put some stuff up. Um, so... We have got this amazing, um, Laura does like lots of things on her Cricut. So she's like, she personalises things and makes amazing stuff. I haven't got a Cricut. I haven't got a silhouette anymore. I have no idea what I'm doing with it. But Laura is really, really cool in it. And she's done me this tote bag. Like, so it's just a normal tote bag. And she's done, it's just a bunch of Hocus Pocus with the Sanderson sisters on it. It's amazing. It's lush. It's now my new work bag. But I don't know whether I want to... Take it to work because my work bag gets awful stained. So I don't know, I might put some crafty stuff in it. I have got a bunch of tote bags um, on the back of my craft room door. Craft, I say craft room, it's not my craft room anymore. It's like a playroom slash craft room. Um, but yes, I have got like my Gryffindor ones, my Minnie Mouse ones, my Disney ones, my Maleficent ones. Um, yeah, on the back of my door and I put different things in them uh so for craft storage but it was bashing into my um yeah i've got a unit right by the side by the door and every time i opened the door it was bashing into it all the time so i sort of made them flatter um but yeah this can either go up there or i'll use it for work maybe but yeah that is fab isn't it it's just a bunch of hocus pocus so she did all of this on a cricket how cool is that like the vinyl and stuff awesome so that's the tote bag we have got some Harry Potter goodies, 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 goodies in here. So we've got the banner. Um, and then, I don't know if you can see this, but it's got like the different images, like the snake from Slytherin, uh, Raven from Ravenclaw, the lion from Gryffindor, and like the Hogwarts crest and stuff. I hope I'm not reflected in that because I look rough as today. Um, yeah, so that'd be really cool. So I might stick that up in the playroom, actually, because the kids love Harry Potter. I, I do read Harry Potter to them in the night. Well, actually, I do. I read it to the twins because Lucia goes to bed later than the twins. But actually, we're on book seven now, so I don't know what I'm going to do in my time. I'm going to order the Roald Dahl books as well because I'm going to get them to read to the kids too. Um, so, yes, yeah, so we've got the banner there. So that's the banner. And we've got another... Um, I think she picked these up from Primark, I think, um, because you've got like itty bitty banner confetti stuff there. So you can make something up with that or use them on Harry Potter embellishments and things. So we've got a bag of them. It says confetti, but I probably wouldn't use it like confetti. It's those. And we have got the stamps, which are awesome. Um, so yeah, so these stamps here, Harry Potter, five in a pack, they are collectibles, 24 to collect. I'm not sure who's seen Steffi's channel, it's not recently, it's a while back now, but she actually got them all, I think. Um, a little bit jealous when she got them all. Um, but yeah, so Laura has kindly gifted me these ones. And in this one, we've got Harry, Ron, Harry, again, on his broomstick, Professor Trelawney, and... I said to Steffi, is that Hermione, do you reckon? Or is that somebody else? Because her hair looks too blonde. And she said, maybe have a look at the back. So I will have a look at the back. And see who it is. Yeah, it is Hermione. Yeah, it is Hermione, look. There. I thought it may have been Luna. Because her hair is blonde. But it doesn't look awful blonde for Hermione. But anyway, so yes, I'm probably going to take these out. I probably won't use them as stamps. I'll probably have them dotted around um, as like, you know, little Lego. Because I got the, oh, it's up on my other shelf now. Um, Jude got me the minifigures Lego things. Like, they are collectibles as well. Um, I need to get some more because I've only got one. I've got Grip Hook. Is it Grip Hook? 
think his name's Griffith, yeah, from Gringotts. Um, so yes, that's probably what I'll do with these. So that's amazing. So thanks very much, Law. Um, oh, and I had, oh, I have to get off my chair now and get it. Because I've been burning in it. Excuse the mess on it, because I'm not entirely sure how to clean these things out. But she got me a wax burner, because she asked me what I wanted for my birthday, and I was like, do you know what? I don't really know, um, because, like, I had quite a lot for my birthday. I was a little bit spot. Um, and I said, do you know what I really, really want? It's a wax burner, um, because I like the wax melts. Not that I've got any wax melts, but I like the look of them anyway. So she got me this black one, um, and she got me... I put a tea light in there. That is in there. See, that's all hard now, obviously, because I bur I was burning it last night. She got me the Dreamy Donut, so that's one of those. Um, and it smells lush. Very, very strong, so I only put a little bit in, but it's really, really and it, uh, you can taste it as well, which is lush, because I can't eat donuts at the minute because I'm on a diet. Um, and she got me the... Yankee Candle Vanilla Frosting type one as well. So all very cake themed, which I'm sure she did on papers because she knows I'm on a diet. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to try them once next, I think. But you can, I wish you had smell vision because you could smell it through, it through the actual packaging. Um, but yeah, so the, what, the Dreamy Donut is in there at the minute. So I don't know what I do now. Somebody needs to tell me. How do I get, so obviously do I burn that up and then tip that out? before I use this or do I just plonk that on the top and then it'd be like a mixture but then I don't really know or do I just scrape that off or do I just use it up until it evaporates does that happen I wouldn't have thought so I have absolutely no idea this is where scientific brains come into and I am going to so let me know comments down below please now I sort it out because I have no idea and I totally didn't realize that Obviously, you need to have something to burn the wax with, like tea lights. And usually, I've got loads in the house, but my mother-in-law pinched them all. So, I have got about five in a pack, so I need to pick them up from work because they're really cheap in work. So, yes, yeah, so I had that from her. So this that. And then, um, okay, so check this out now, okay? Right, so I'll, I'll show you the candle in it first. So, she got me this candle. November rain, and again, that smells lush too. Yankee candle, it's lush. I wish you could smell, it's really, 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 really nice. And look at all the trees, my favourite time of year. Um, and then in, it was in this, and it's probably better if I actually show you with the candle in, because it's, otherwise it's too. And it's got Slayer, so it's like a shot glass, or like one of those votive, votive, I can never say that word. You know, like the glass you put candles in. Um, and she's done this on her cricket then, the Slayer look with the Buffy, um, wording and the, uh, oh, what's the axe called? Oh, I've forgotten. Yeah, a big, big spoiler alert if you haven't seen the end of Buffy, but she uses this right in the very, very end. Um, awesome. But yeah, I'm a big, massive Buffy, Buffy fan, um, as you'll see now with the next couple of things. And yeah, so she's done that for me. So that's awesome too. So I'm going to take the candle out of there and I'm going to put that up. I might just put some bits in there. Like, you know, like the pebbles you can get. Um, Not pebbles. Yeah, like, but you know, like the glass pebbles you can use as ornaments. Or maybe use it with a candle. But I don't want to wreck it with the wax. So yeah, so I don't, I'm not sure yet. But I'll just probably display it at the minute. Um, so that's my candle holder. Then um, I had... This key ring, which again, I'm assuming she's made. Um, it's got Spike on it because he's my favorite fav fav character. I love Spike. Um, I like the fact that he goes from mean to good. He's, yeah, I, I think it's really, really cute. Um, so yeah, so I had the key ring as well. And then I had this. Oh my God, check this mug out. Oh my God, it's amazing. Right, so on here you've got Amy Slayer mug and it's in the Buffy like writing this is the writing um so she must have she's obviously I think she has obviously got the font uh Amy Slayer mug and then on the other side is the little um doofle they, they draw in the one where they're not allowed to speak um where Giles writes on the overhead projector and it's Buffy with patrol tonight I'm not sure if you've seen it in a previous video but uh Jude's daughter Willow drew me this 
and put it and uh, Julie put it on a cam. Oh, she I think she drew onto the canvas actually. Um, and the canvas is up on my wall, which is like over there. Um, and I had to look at it first because I thought maybe she's used Willow's picture and she's got in touch with Jude or whatever. But I have checked and there are subtle differences. So I think this one is probably off an image off the computer. Um, so yeah, but that is fab, isn't it? It's amazing. I love it. But I've been dying to do this video just so I can drink out of this cup. I love getting a new cup. I, at the minute, I'm still, um, I'm using the Snow White ones that Steffi got me. I have one for my hot drinks and I use the other one then for my cold drinks. So, uh, yeah, so I'll be using this one as well. But yeah, that's awesome, isn't it? I love stuff like, I love personalised stuff like this. Cool. Um, I always wanted to do mugs as well. And then, um... Oh my god, she also did me a t-shirt and at first I thought it wasn't going to fit because it's an extra large one from Primark and I thought, oh I wonder if it's going to be a bit too big because I'm losing weight, which is good, but you know, you know, me thinking, yeah, yeah, maybe I've lost a lot of, well, I've, I've lost like two stone, but I still haven't dropped a size yet, I know, what's with that, I have no idea, um, but yeah, so it's, and she's got, I can't remember, am I going to get this all out? It says Buffy the Vampire Slayer on the front. Oh my God, I cannot wait to wear this at the school run. I am going to be the bee's knees, honestly. I wanted to wear it today, but obviously I knew I was going to do the video. And I was like, I need to wear it, so I need to do the video. Um, But yeah, and it fits perfect. Um, Yeah, there's no like lumps and bumps or anything. And it fits like a normal, nice t-shirt. So um, if you're wondering a lot, yes, it does. It's amazing. And yeah, so those are my goodies that I had from the amazing Laura. Um, so I will link her channel down below. Please pop over and check her out. You're probably already subscribed to her if you're subscribed to me. Um, but yeah, she's amazing. So thank you so much, Laura. I love everything. So I can display everything now. Um, but yeah, so thank you for watching. Um, I hope you're all having a fabulous day and I shall see you in the next video. Bye.